Hello everybody, this is Skyflight44, aka Sect44, and today we're going to be playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Now, I've gone through and I've changed up our Gemini 4 stack quite a lot. All we needed was one card in order to make this deck work, in my opinion. That is Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. We could have went through and there's a few other like powerful Gemini monsters that we could go about getting and we could focus a deck around those. However, I don't think any of those would be as consistent as a Red Eyes focused Gemini deck. Now the big thing is we have now that we have this, I've also thrown in Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. This is only really useful because um, its effect when it gets it is uh, the Red Eyes monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's pretty good for these, but we can now use Red Eyes Fusion because we have Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon, and the only card that we can really use it. From the deck is meteor black comet dragon um one level seven red eyes monster one level six dragon type monster which are these two specifically um and once we go about um, using it we can send one red eyes monster from deck to the graveyard and if we do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack and <clears throat> if it's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard we can target one um, normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it, which means any of our Geminis. That's pretty nice. Especially considering the fact that we can, uh, send these two with Red Eyes Fusion, and then also send Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning off of its effect, which gets us into any of these. Also, Return of the Red Eyes. If you control a Red Eyes monster, except Red Eyes Black Chick, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard to special summon it. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target one Red Eyes monster in your graveyard. Once again, except Red Eyes Black Chick, special summon it. You can only use each effect of Red Eye or Return of the Red Eyes once per turn. So this isn't a... Well, it's a continuous trap card that special summons monsters from the grave. It is not a... This isn't a effect that... Um, like Call of the Haunted. It's an effect that basically just... Special summons something from the graveyard. And at that point, we don't... Uh, there is no connection to it. And also note... You can only use each effect to return of the red eyes once per turn, which means we can actually special summon twice off of this if we can get rid of it. We don't want to get rid of it, but that's pretty cool. So, um, this deck's probably going to be pretty good, and it still has the opportunity to brick, but then again, everything does. I'm probably, once I can, going to get rid of a Polymerization or two for Necrofusion later on. But I just don't know exactly where that is. So, let's go through do a Duelist Challenge. Because I want to see how well this deck's going to work. Um, the best opener we have is strictly Red Eyes Fusion. Though, do note, because Red Eyes Fusion goes from deck, uh, of our two main monsters, we, or the two targets for Red Eyes Fusion, one of them will not help us whatsoever. Okay. Thing is, I don't really want to go about using either of these. Yeah, but this strictly states once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you can pay 500 life points, normal summon, set one Gemini monster from your hand, or normal summon one face-up Gemini monster you control. First card would be destroyed about each turn is not destroyed. Here's the thing, I'm 100% sure this thing is going to be uh attacked by multiple harpies.
Well, this is interesting. I'm expecting... I am expecting... Uh, to suffer. Okay. That's not bad whatsoever. Especially considering the fact that we can... No, we can actually... This is a normal uh, a summon and not necessarily a... This is just a straight up normal summon and nothing else. So if this face up card in the field will be destroyed by a battle of card fact, you can detach one material from this card instead. The thing is, I can't actually go through and get rid of this stupid monster with what I have. I do I can get into Super Alloy Beast Raptinus. But I can't get in it can be taken unless I I'm going to I'm gonna normal su I'm a normal summon Dark Valkyria. We'll go through place a counter on it. Then we can destroy one monster on the field. At this point in time, this card cannot go and um, steal a special summon monster from me. So... Let's... Let's Regeki the board. Once again, it's going to send it off. Uh, I don't want to use Castell. Castell could be more useful later on. Let's go into... Let's go into number 50. I can activate its effect, pitching Dark Valkyrie to destroy it, deal a thousand damage. So now I'm very likely to have Anything I put into the back is going to be destroyed. Therefore, uh, this is actually going to be pretty good. Outside of the fact that I don't have a Red Eyes monster just yet in my grave. So, let's just go to end phase. Let's flip this up. See what uh, is going to happen. Okay, that's fine. And then Harpy Dancer can go about getting it back to hand and then summoning it again. Yeah, that sucks, but she doesn't have anything. She doesn't have anything else. This is gonna go back into another... Yeah, number silent honor arc. How am I gonna deal with this one now? Uh... Thing is, I wish I could get rid of this one card, but I I still don't have the ability to do it yet. Let's uh, let's surrender. 
Try this again. Uh, if, what, if we, at any point in time, if we just get Red Eyes Fusion, we have so much to benefit off of it. I should probably throw in Foolish Burial into this deck, too. Oh, Red Eyes Fusion! Red Eyes Fusion with two Return of the Red Eyes. Okay, <laughs> that's going to be nice. Well, let's get you, and then we're going to use Red Eyes Fusion, getting Meteor Black Comet Dragon, sending these two to Grave. Unfortunately, we can't uh, summon anything else the turn we go about using it. So, we're not going to be able to do much of anything else. Even though, at this point in time, we can also use Woodland Archer. The majority of the time, I, I put this to one because so many times I just went about using this card and it has not been, like, a good thing for me. Yeah, because we can't special summon anything. We're not going to be able to go through and uh, use that anymore. Oh, well, she doesn't have too much. Well, now she has quite a bit more. But she... Those are three things that aren't very good for special summoning, so... I'm going to put up Return Red Eyes. Yep. That's wonderful. We can get Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. Unless she has something else, yeah, to special summon. Now she's going to have to destroy this. She's going to go into Silent Nana Arc. Ooh, Lightning Shidori. I don't actually see top of the deck shit. Well, here's the thing. That isn't actually all that bad. Because we can set you wooden archer. We can just um, special summon, which can allow us to Get out Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning back once again. Okay. What she should have done was go into Silent Honor Arc and then just steal this. And yeah, we're going to go into End Phase. So we're going to go about using that again. And yeah. Let's bring you back. In defense position. If she can go about getting rid of this card. Then it's going to be far worse for us. Okay, you get up to 1900. And what are you going to choose? Uh, that's actually not so bad. Okay. You you still have Harpy's uh you still have Harpy Queen in your hand, don't you? Or did you go about getting rid of it? I'm gonna go through and use Gemini Summoner. Okay, the only thing that matters is whether or not she can get 
um, a harpy's hunting ground out. Okay. Yeah. She's uh, going to regret that. Ah, oh, and Dark Hole. Okay, we can special summon you. Ah, damn. No, son of a... Yeah, I should have used... That was my fault. But I'm actually doing fairly well. The stack isn't doing so bad, uh, considering exactly what uh, this was before. So let's get rid of Woodland Archer, because we can't go about using it anymore. Oh, it's some of a bitch. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to do that. Face up, shit. That, again, my fault. I uh, guess the uh, Valkyrie one is actually a better option than using future uh, future samurai. We're going to Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning, and with Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning, we're going to. Once again, try and get out Red Eyes Dragon, uh, or Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. If we had Catalyst Field, we could immediately just get the effect off of this. A Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Okay. Doesn't this doesn't this deck actually seem like it, when it's, when it has it set up, it isn't all that bad? Well, yeah. This actually does feel as if it's fun. Now she can't go about uh, destroying my red eyes monsters by battle or card effect. Which means she has to out the. Uh, Red Eyes Impact, some other way. The other thing about uh, being in this position is then I can actually go about using Red Eyes um, Black Flare Dragon's effect. I, I don't have to be able to destroy my opponent. I could just go through attack, survive, because of Red Eyes uh, or Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. I can, at that point, still survive. And then I can just burn my opponent that way. But, uh, let's continue with a campaign. We are so close to the very end of this campaign, we might as well just finish it. There's only three more fights left, and then we've gone at least through our first pass, and then the only things that are left are the reverse duels. However, I'm probably, after this, going to be going into some more 5Ds. Because, at the very least, until we get um, the Crow booster. These are some things I want in there, including uh, Mist Valley cards. And one thing that I want for Mist Valley is some different tuners. Wind tuners. That I can get off of, uh, what was it called? So I can throw them into my um, Gusto deck. But we're going to go first. Hmm. So Pot of Greed gets us... Basically everything in that. Got 
Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight. Yeah. Let's set Queen's Knight. He's probably just going to special summon uh, his good eight, uh, Aados. Or whatever that Guardian card is. Oh, shit. Yeah, Guardian... Uh, isn't that nice? Yeah, that sucks so much. Thing is, if I set you... I can technically use Card of Sanctity. And uh, we'll throw in uh, Zero Gravity. Opponent drew a card. Activate the effect of a card. Now. Now we'll go about using zero gravity. Oh, really? Yeah, let's actually go and use uh, Curry Bandit. So during the end phase, we can uh, basically get a card and also mail a bunch of cards. Claw of Harmos. Um, is that actually going to be useful to me? Eye of Tamias. Dark Magician. Yeah, that uh, thing is... I can get the Eye of Tamias. And like a Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, getting back the... Um, I can Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, use Eye of Tamias... Fucking hell! Well, that's a loss. I can't believe me going through my deck nearly worked. Thing is... I wanted Amulet Dragon. Yeah. So, let's... Let's Monster Reborn. We'll get Queen's Knight. The thing is, this still doesn't even work. Because I need a... I need a card in hand in order to go and use... That Fusion Monster's destruction ability. I cannot believe... That nearly worked. Like, I even used Card of Sanctity... In order to go farther into my deck. And then he... Just... It's Monster Reborn? Send Rope of Life and get out a Dark Magician.
If only we could give uh, put a monster into his graveyard, then we would be set. Okay, we're set. Thing is, um, Aados can only be a special summon to the field when you don't have a monster in your graveyard. And once you go about getting rid of um, Aados, you can go about getting a um, Death Scythe, which is the what he usually goes and uses. Um, let's go through and use Curry Bandit. We'll attack for 3,500. We're going to use the effect of Curry Bandit. Too bad I can only get a uh, spell trap to hand. And all of them were monster cards. That's cool. Hey, at the very least, we got into Graceful Charity afterwards. Uh, you, and then we can get... We can get uh, Dark Magician Girl off. So, now we can... Thing is, I really wish I had King's Knight in hand. And Queen's Knight was the one that was in the graveyard. Then I would just have uh, Monster Reborn um, her summon King's Knight, get Jack's Knight onto the field, and that would have been game. But we can summon Queen's Knight. We can Reborn Dark Magician Girl. And if Queen's uh, Knight can kill this thing, and can't. Actually, wait! No! Unaffected by spells, it cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Okay. I won. Yeah, that was nice. Problem is, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to beat this just yet. Okay, Hidden Armory is a good one, because that can get us into any equip that we want. Oh, a duel with darts. Second to last one, the end of the Waking the Dragon uh, arc. The, the weird thing is, granted, there wasn't much in the way of... Uh, Fights in the last arc, any duels in the last arc that uh, can be taken away. Um, but the one duel I really wish that they had was um, Yugi versus uh, Bakura. That would have been a nice one. Okay, let's go second so we can get the battle phase. Okay, so I have two of them. Oh, that sucks. So, what can I actually get off of you?
I can only get time magic hammer. Or I can get red eyes, black dragon sword. Uh, but just my question comes down to can I even get anything off of this? Damn. Okay, this can also get a uh, claw of uh, her mouse. So target one uh, other face-up monster in the field, equip this card to it. It can make a second attack during each battle phase, also uh, inflicting piercing damage. So here's the thing. So I can't actually do anything with that, is my problem. Let's just set Big Shield Guard now. Yeah, and we're not going to be able to do anything with it. Still not going to be able to do anything with it. Okay, yeah, that would have been nice if this was the last turn and you weren't able to summon anything. Unfortunately, I just can't use the Claw of Hermos for anything. So I can now use Time Magic Hammer. Okay, let's summon Queen's Knight. You can use the Claw of Harmos, getting... Okay... That's cool, uh, Time Magic Hammer is the big thing. Because... This is going to allow us to... At the start of the damage step, if it uh, battles an opponent's monster, you can roll a six-sided die and banish that opponent's monster until the standby phase or the end turn after this effect uh, resolves. The big thing is this is not a once per turn. Oh, shit. Silvori Calco, so... Um... You're, while you control two or more face-up attack position monsters, your opponent cannot target your monsters with the lowest attack for an attack, which means neither of those two. Okay, yeah, that's a loss. That's frustrating. I don't really know how I could have done that her outside of if I had gone first that's the only way I could have actually done anything and even then still not really because I could only get into a summon skull which would have contested my opponent but would not have uh, been able to really give me anything but we'll still go first Mirror Force could have got me something. So we'll set Mirror Force. Okay. So we need to go through and get a couple of these. Um, Legendary Dragon Spells. Mm -hmm. 
We can get into Mirror Force Dragon. And I think I am going to go and do that. Let's get out Mirror Force Dragon. And Dark Hole. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Because that card requires me to have at least 2,000 uh, life points. He's running a bunch of 2,000 attack point monsters. If he summons one more, I can't use that card. I've lost the game. Uh, freaking Dark Hole. Well, this might just make it much easier. Uh, let's see. We can get rid of you. I have Tamias we're keeping. Hmm. We're going to send Dark Magician. Hopefully we get a monster reborn. Yep. Big Shield Gardener. Actually, that's pretty good. I mean, it's probably going to get rid of Queen's Knight. I don't want to get rid of anything. Um, uh, I guess we'll go through and get rid of Io Tobias. I was hoping not to have to do that. Then also set this. Yeah, we're getting rid of that. Before it becomes a problem. Yeah, dimensional prison. Oh, our third graceful charity. How would... Oh, not gonna lie, that's, uh, that's pretty good. You... You're just gonna go through and destroy a card anyway. Yeah, you're just gonna do that anyway, so... Um, I'm gonna first tribute, see if I can kill you all. You're gonna be at 2300 because of Dark Magician in the Grave. Okay, so this card gains thousand for each monster your opponent controls. Face up below four monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's cool. You're not a level four uh, normal monster, though. Get. And then you're going to get rid of it to destroy my card. Yeah. Uh, screw off. Okay, interesting. Now all we need is... 
Now all we need is the... Oh, what was it called? Legend of Heart? Yeah, Legend of Heart. So I would very much like to have Mirror Force back. Yeah, I was hoping you weren't going to get an 1800 attack point monster. Hey! Doesn't that look wonderful? We managed to actually get exactly what I wanted. It's like having a mirror force, except your opponent, for some reason, can still take it out with Dark Hole. Come on, Dark Hole this board. I want to see you get rid of your main monster. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The only problem is I need to have a warrior in order to be able to use Legend of Heart. And all you're going to do is just normal summon this. Yep. And then you're just going to destroy my card. Oh. Wow. Now you're going to destroy my card. That was... Stupid. My problem is now is, what can I actually do in order to uh, deal with this? Because I cannot actually deal with this right now. I'll go to end phase... Okay, so we have Beta the Magnet Warrior. Thing is, I need a Spellcaster in order to get Time Magic Hammer. So, uh, this allows me to... Yeah, not very good. If only I could have Time Magic Hammer. I'm going to summon Beta the Magnet Warrior. And I'm just going to attack. Okay, Venom Cobra. Oh, uh, that's gonna be it. A monster reborn or nothing. Well, that's it. Exact for lethal. So the only way I possibly could have won that is if I had myself a... If I went and had myself... I can't believe I lost that after having three Graceful Charities. Wow! Okay! How can I screw this up? Oh, getting rid of you. You see this? Yeah. So I can just straight up get rid of Legendary Knight Hermos. I can use this again. 
Oh. Wonderful. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's go through, use you. Legend of Hearts. Tributing my monster. And we're gonna banish the other three. And then we can just special summon each of these. Okay, so I can banish... Well, I can banish you. And I can banish you. You do the exact same thing, so... Can't really banish another one. I can go into Tamias and Knight of Destiny, however, this isn't going to be very good because, well, it, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, unaffected by other card effects, once for a battle of this card battles during damage calculation, you can make this card's attack and defense equal to the attack of the monster on the field with the highest attack. And then when it's destroyed, you can get um, these three monsters back. Well, at the very least, I can uh, clear the board. Go to main phase two. I can go into this card. And then... Well, come and get me. At the very least, this will allow us to get into our legendary, uh, everything else. Well, that's cool. Well, let's summon you. Then we go into battle. Attack. Use this effect. And then we can special summon each of these. Yeah, that feels good. That definitely feels good. It's almost like that was a complete curb stomp, and all I had to do was, well, let's just say, suffer a few times. And now there's one more duel. And hopefully I'm able to do this one. I don't have much time. Before I have to, uh, do some other stuff. Okay, you're gonna go second? Sure. I don't mind this as long as I can get into Silent Magician level 4. Especially if you're just going to go about wasting half your life points. Because do you have something like Mystical Space Typhoon? No, you do not. Level up is not a card I want to see. I already have one, thank you.
I can't use soul charge unless I have... Oh, God. At least give me graceful charity. What do you expect me to do? You can flip this up. Okay, the only one I can get rid of is summon skull in order to use. Yeah, if that's yeah, if that was even decent, then I would have lost. So, I think I'm I'm gonna barely survive. But I can't use Soul Charge. Okay, yeah, you're just wonderful. So I can get back, summon Skull. Thing is, do I have a silent swordsman level seven? We're gonna see. If I don't, then I've lost the game. Okay, I do. So, negate all spell effects on the field. But not trap. I wasn't destined to be able to do anything that round. Judgment, the Dragon of Heaven. So I don't actually have all of those cards. There's one more Light Sworn card I can get. Or at least card that's supposed to be in the archetype. Let's go first again. Hey, look at that. That's actually pretty good. Hey. Okay. Let's go about using red gadget, getting us a uh, green gadget. No, yellow. Then we can... Just go to next turn. Queen's Knight, that's fine. Is that Mirror Force? Well, let's use Beta the Magnet Warrior. And attack. Okay, so it wasn't. I want to use Soul Charge when I need to, so I can get into Summon Skull. Ah, tricky. Queen's Knight. Another beta. Okay, I'm going to use Soul Charge now. That's going to get me another yellow gadget. And I'm going to tribute over you for summon skull. If it's a mirror force, it's mirror force. Probably should have put you in defense position. I forgot soul charge uh, takes away my battle phase. Yeah. Hey, to be honest, 
This is an... Actually, Magician Circle is pretty decent. I was thinking, probably not the best, considering you can get a uh, Dark Magician Girl out onto the field. But then again, we can get out a um, Silent Magician level 4, which we can just level up. thing is, if it's Mirror Force, then he's just going to be able to take out anything I set anyway. So let's just go through, get Beta the Magnet Warrior. Okay, so it's just going to get me, or I get him a bunch of tricky tokens. Yep. Take you out. Take you out. And just getting another tricky. Okay. What do I have here? Ah, Magician Circle. Ah, another tricky. Which of the Black Forest? And now I can get Silent Magician level 4. Okay, we can go about summoning you. And then immediately leveling you up, because otherwise you're not actually a very good... You're not a very good card. Only problem is if you have a trap, then you're just another card that's going to be a throwaway. Uh, we'll summon you in order to get Green Gadget to hand. And then we can attack with Silent Magician level 8. And nothing else. I will summon you... And deal a shitload of damage. You can't get out of monster I've won. If he attacks Silent Magician level 4, then I'm going to be doing really well. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's go summon Green Gadget. Uh, which means I don't have any more red gadgets I can get. Oh, that sucks. We're down to 150 life points. Uh, yeah, let's just go and get this in. Defense. Monster Reincarnation. Okay, and then you're gonna get tricky. Well, at least I know I'm gonna be able to win this then. The Silent Magician level 8 is just gonna take you out. And we managed to actually finish at least the first pass of this campaign. And it is nice. 
with that we can we have the ability of going through and uh at this point in time we can finish the rest of these by just going and doing the reverse duels which are going to unlock quite a lot of uh duelist challenges at this point in time we have a lot of duelist challenges already done for uh dual monsters but there's still Joey, Pegasus, Iba, you, um, and both Yugi's that we have to go about um, unlocking. Or right, at the, this point in time, have a nice day, everybody.